What's going on you guys? It's me back in the video. Today is going to be a video response to Life Spill of 79, so, uh, expensive games. Um, this is going to be kind of different in a, in a sense. Um, these are actually games that I've bought that have actually gone up in price after I bought them, or went down in price maybe, give or take. Um, just something a little bit different, but pretty much the same thing. Um, but these games are not in any particular order. They're just random games and there's certain games that I might have that I might not put in this just because they're I don't know more talked about in a way but uh let's get started the first game I'm gonna show you guys is the first Mega Man I bought this for like 20 bucks if that and I see it go from anywhere from 30 to 60 um why I do not know well, yes, I do. That's a lot. It's a great game, but it's the, the first in the series. I j I'm, a, I'm a really cheap person, so I normally never pay retail price for a lot of these games unless it's something I really want. So when I say I don't understand why it's that much, that's what I mean. Um, before I get too much further into this, um, the games that I've priced, I've priced them off eBay prices because that's known what people are paying why again i don't know but i don't know next game mega man 2 um i see this go from 25 to 30 give or take um this game is my favorite in the series the best music um you know best boss battles everything it's between this and six to me a lot of people don't like six but six is one of my favorites Mega Man 3, I see this go from 20 to 30. Uh, I didn't like 3 as much. Actually, yeah, I might have got past maybe the first second level. But I haven't played that much, one too much. Mega Man 4, I see this go from 20 to 30 as well. Which is, you know, 4 is pretty, is one of the better ones. And then last but not least Mega Man 6 I see this go for around 40 uh, for the Mega Man games I bought them in two different bundles I bought 2 and 4 for 20 and 3 and 6 for 20 and then for part 1 I bought that at a store I found for 20 so I paid 60 for all of them at different points in time so uh, no not too bad Next game I'm going to talk about is Ogre Battle 64. I see this one. I've seen it go for. Where is it here? I don't think I jotted it down. 30 to 60. Um, I didn't pay nowhere near that much. I paid like 10 bucks. Flea Market picked it up. Couldn't complain. Here is Star Fox 64. I got it for free. I see it go from like 15 to 20. Eh, at one point, I seen it go for like 10. So that's kind of why I included it. It's a pretty good game. Um, I got this free with like a stack of 64 games. My next door neighbor, he came by my house one day. I forgot what he keeps. Let me borrow some sugar or some shit like that. Who does that anymore? But. He noticed that I had a bunch of games and I had a Nintendo 64. He's like, hey man, I got a stack of 64 games I don't play no more. Would you still want it? Want the games? Hell yeah, I want the games. Bring them bitches over. So he brought them over and it was a bunch. Next game. Resident Evil 2. For some reason, the 64 version I've seen go for more than the PlayStation version. Um, I don't know why... I've seen this one go for 20. Um, I see the PlayStation 2, two woo, the PlayStation 1 version go for about, can you go from 10 to 15? One game that I bought, and it was high when I bought it, but I didn't pay that price for it. And I see it now, and I'm like, holy shit. Mega Man X2. 
I seen this shit go for like 120 on eBay. What the fuck is going on with these prices, man? Um, I bought this with Luffy 2, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, and Link to the Past. I bought all that for 40 bucks together. And uh, yeah, I bought all that and that's pretty much the price of Link to the Past. But I seen this go for 120 recently. Whoa! And when I bought it, I seen it going for 70. So that's crazy. And then at at that point, Mega Man X3 was 120. I see Mega Man X3 for the Super Nintendo going for fucking 200 bucks, damn near. What's going on with these prices, man? This shit is getting outrageous. Um. If you're a new collector, get the expensive shit first because it's only going to go up. There's been games that I've bought where, well, not that I've bought, I should have bought and I've seen it for like uh, 40 and I don't like paying that much. And then a year or two later, I see it going for 200 fucking bucks. Crusader Senny. I regret, I still regret that. I'm actually going to buy the Euro version because it's a little bit cheaper. Next game, Pike and Mice from Mars. I see this go for about 20 or so. I paid about seven bucks for it. So, yeah. Lufia 2. I see this go for about 70. Like I said a few minutes ago, I got this in that little bundle. They got all, you know, a bunch of games for 40 bucks. Good game. I would pay asking price for this. Um, I would. I definitely would. So, that says a lot. Me being the cheap ass in Century. Link to the past. I see this go for anywhere from 20 to 30 something bucks. Here or, here or so. It's a Zelda game. It's, you know, one of the best Zelda games, so I understand why. Secret of Mana, I see this go for about 50 or so. Like I said, I got that in a little bundle, so. Ooh, ooh, no! Shit, I just dropped it. Here is Tracia. I got this for about five bucks. It is a RPG for the Sega Genesis. Uh, I'm a big Genesis guy. I love Genesis games. Um, um, I'm trying to get all Genesis RPGs. Just get them all. Because I actually have seen a lot of Genesis RPGs. Just Genesis games in general starting to go up a little bit. Because I guess people are getting tired of getting raped for these Super Nintendo prices. So what's next? The Genesis. So, I'm starting to get my Genesis games. I gotta hurry up and start getting them before they start going up in price or get too ridiculous like the Super Nintendo, which I don't think they're never gonna get that high, but, hey. Battle Toes Double Dragon. I uh, see this, 22 bucks. I got this for seven. So, yeah, it, it's went up quite a bit. Give or take. Lance Stalker. <coughs> Excuse me. Land Stalker, I've seen this go for um about 20, give or take. And I got this for like nine bucks. Sorcerer's Kingdom. I got this for about seven bucks. And I've seen it go from anywhere from 20 to 30, give or take. That's just loose. Um, I've seen them go for a complete a little too high. This is another Genesis RPG. Like I said, I'm trying to get them all. As, you know, I find them, I'll get them. I'm going to import some too. But I haven't played this yet, but I've seen video play on it, and it looks fucking awesome. Next is Heartstone Heist for the Genesis. 
This is kind of the Sega's answer to Turtles in Time. I've seen this bitch. I bought this 20, baby. I've seen this bitch go for, it's jumped up. I see it go from like 30 to 50 now. Even some like 70-ish. Why? I don't know. Why does this cost more than Turtles in Time? Unless Turtles in Time went up in price recently. I'm not sure, but... Why does this cost more than Turtles in Time? Uh, this is... It's, it's pretty good. But it's not the same as Turtles in Time. So... I don't know if it's because this new... Ninja Turtles movie just came out not too long ago or what. But this bitch has jumped up. And I don't know why. I'm actually... Double checking, make sure I have that price right. Yes, 50. Too much. This was a little different. Biohazard, biohazard battle. Um, when I got it, I got it for free. I seen it going from like 30 to 40 bucks. Like I said, I got it for free. Um, now I see it for 14, so this actually dropped in price. Which. You don't see that often. Uh, another game that I seen that dropped in price was Ranger X for the Genesis. I seen that going for like fifty at one point. Now it's about twenty. That's that's good because, like I said, I hate seeing games be ridiculously priced. Oh, let me grab these. Fantasy Star Two. I got this for like six bucks. I see it go for twenty. So, you know. That's went up a little bit. Fantasy Star 4. Complete manual everything. 40 to 60 bucks. I bought this from a shop for like 24. And I see this shit go from 40 to 60 bucks complete. Great deal. I normally don't pay that much for games anyway, unless I really want it. Good deal. Now this game here. I've talked about this before in another video of mine, but this bitch has shot up in price. I don't know fucking why. War Song. I bought this game for a couple months ago for like 20 something bucks, give or take. It's kind of like, it's, uh, it's the Langris series, which is, you know, a game that never really been promoted here too much. The only one that came out was War Song. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a Fire Emblem. The battles are super long. If you don't have time to play this shit, don't play it. Like, if you just play it, like, put it in just for, like, a quick playthrough, nah. But I bought this for 20-something bucks. I've seen it go. At one point in time, it was going for, like, 200. Well, I seen people on eBay asking 200 for it. It blew my mind because the battery had died in this one. So I'm like, let me buy another copy. One, I can't, I can barely find it. Like, it, I don't know if it just, it just went scarce all of a sudden. But I used to, when I bought this one, I seen a bunch. Now I don't see that much. And now I see this one, I'm double checking. I wrote a bunch of them down. Yeah, I see this go for anywhere from like 60 to 120. That's a lot going from, you know, the 20 bucks that I pay for, 20 something bucks I pay for it. It's a great game. Like I said, it's it's like it's like Fire Emblem on the Genesis, you know, it's the Genesis version of Fire Emblem here. And they make Langris a two, a bunch on uh you know some came on like on a saturn and, and shit like that but they were just never made here langrisa 2 actually did come out on the mega drive but not here so i'm actually going to get a translated version of that pretty soon I actually recently ordered it and then battle master um i got this for like three bucks i see it go from like 15 to 20 now give or take This game is not really high in price, but I bought it when it kind of, I bought it recently and then I just stopped seeing them. And that's Cross Edge for the PS3. This is kind of like a crossover RPG with a niece 
Um, like I see uh, dog stalkers, Morgans in here. I haven't really gotten to this too much, but it's a good game, and I don't see it. Yakuza Two. Um, this I paid thirty for it. Um, at that point in time, I seen it going from like anywhere from. 40 to 80 is dropped a little bit. So now I see it like the 60 30 to 60 range depending on who's asking for it So this is dropped a little bit. I still didn't pray pay as much as you know, it's dropped to which is good But I love this series. So You know, I was willing to pay the 30 Xenobay Chronicles I paid What did I pay for this shit? Between 30 and 40, I, I pay for this. But I've seen it going for, recently, it, it jumped back up to 80. Um, GameStop exclusive, which I think was really, really dumb, but they knew what they were doing. It, it's a great game. I, they're asking too fucking much, man. Like, 80 bucks for a fucking Wii game? For a Wii game? Let me put it this way. The only games that are expensive on the Wii still Fire Emblem, which I'm going to rant about that in a minute. This, the Metroid Trilogy, and any fucking Mario games. Anything other than that, you can get these bitches 20 and less. Well, Wii games anyway. Grown Lancer Generations. This is a working designs game. Anybody that knows about working designs, they can take a piece of paper, shit on it, and just write working designs, and the shit is just shoot up in price. People will pay anything for these working design games. They're great games. You know, they're great fucking games. But the problem is, anything working designs, almost, they're, they're pretty high. I paid like 15 bucks for just 15, 20 bucks for it, and I've seen it go from. 30 to about 80. I have I bought the deluxe edition so it has like the necklace and the, the shit and all that extra stuff with it. That it, it, those shits go for like 80 bucks. If you get it just this alone, it's like 30 40 bucks, which is on the cheap end of a work designs game, but it's still fucking expensive. It was a great deal for me. I love you know RPGs. This is kind of the spiritual successor to um. War song slash slash Langrisser. So you know how to get this. this is another strategy RPG. I love strategy RPGs. So I had to pick this up. Here is another working designs game. Art the Lad the Collection. I paid about 30 bucks for it. I think I paid re almost retail for this. 30, 40 bucks to see it go from like 40, 50. So I paid pretty close to retail. Um, this is one of my favorite RPGs of all time. One of them. Um, you know, strategy RPG. I love it. Great game. Great series. Stories is amazing. So, like I said, if the game is worth it and I really have an attachment to the game, I have no problem paying retail price. But there's not many games that I'll pay that for. And this is one of them I paid for. Legend of, Dra Legend, of Blue. Legend of Dragoon, um, the black label as you can see, at one point in time when I bought this, I bought it for like 15, it was going for like 30, 35 bucks, this has actually dropped a little bit, so it, you know, I see it for like 20 something now, which is great, I'm glad it's dropped, so what I paid for it then is kind of retail now, so th this is a great game, music's awesome, I played this as a kid, so I actually need to play this again. Now, in these two games, these two games here, Bait and Kaitos and Bait and Kaitos Origins. Together, I've made it pay 30 bucks for this. With this one, you see go for 20. This one, you see go from fucking 30 to 50. And let me double check that. Just to make sure. 
Yes, 30 to 50. This one came out near the end of the GameCube's lifespan. So that's kind of why it costs more, I guess. But I think this one is better. But this one costs more. This is a prequel to this one. These are both great games. But I prefer this one. If this one was closer to 50, I understand I'd probably pay more for this. But this one, you know, it's okay. It's just good, but not 50 bucks worth. And this is where we're gonna get to my our little rant. A couple years ago, well actually more than a couple years ago, before Fire Emblem jumped off and got super super popular. I bought my sister Fire Emblem for the GameCube. I paid maybe 11 bucks for it. Brand new! And then I actually bought her Fire Emblem for the Wii as well. Now, together, I might have paid 30 bucks. You know, I'm like, I'm starting to get into, you know, more strategy RPGs. Like I said, War Song kind got brought me into that side. Well, Arc Lat and War Song kind of brought me over to that side. I'm like, hey, let me see how much Fire Emblem is so I get into those. I go on eBay and I see these bitches for some outrageous prices. The fucking Wii version is like 80 bucks. I forgot the name of that one. And then, uh, I think one's like uh, Path of Radiance, Path of Radiance, another one I don't fucking remember. But both of these games are outrageous. One is like sixty, which has the game P one is sixty now, which is dropped. It's dropped because I was going for like eighty, ninety. I've seen it for hundred bucks at some points. And then the Wii, the Wii version is still about sixty, seventy. You know that's kind of maintained its value. What is going on with these prices, man? This shit is crazy. And some of these games, um, I don't know. I don't know. Like these games, like I said, I, I've paid, I bought them. They've kind of jumped up in price, or I got them for free, and they were high. You know, they cost the twenty, thirty bucks range, but I thought it was quite a bit. Um, and some of these games are only going up. I was watching uh, one of Retro Ranimate's videos, and he was talking about he wanted to start getting the get more PSP games than complete the collection. Dude, get them, get all the PSP games you can, because I'm telling you now, just because they're cheap now doesn't mean in a year or so that they're gonna not gonna jump up in price. I don't know what the fuck is going on with collecting. It, it, it's getting out of hand. Um, I'm a big Genesis guy. I was like dipping and dabbing. Like I'll get some PlayStation games this month. Get some Sega games here. Get some this and that. I'm starting to see a pattern of Genesis games starting to increase. So I'm gonna go get as many fucking Genesis games as I can before the shit gets out of hand. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna put a hold on a lot of the other stuff I've been getting unless I really want it. But, you know, that's the end of my video and my many, many rant. Thanks for watching. Rate and subscribe. Actually, before I get off this, Russian Randomly, I'm calling you out. I want you to make a video, a video response to this one, actually. I bought you, you know, your rare games or games that you might have bought in under market value that might have gone up. I know you have some, so don't sit here and say you don't. But that's it. I'm out of here. Peace.